So the good news is, and we love you very much, <laughs> that you're offering signals about wanted and unwanted, wanted and unwanted, wanted and unwanted, but mostly you have a reasonable expectation of well being in your experience. But you could do so much better. You have the power to control your thoughts so much more. But when you try to control your thoughts just because you need to, it doesn't work. When things aren't going well and you say, I got to get a grip, you're not going to get a grip on what you want. You're just intensifying the grip on what you don't want. You can't get there from there. You can't take a severely out of whack vibration. You can't be standing in the middle of a problem and find the vibration of the solution because the frequencies are very, very different. So if you could understand that the creative process, and we're talking about the deliberate creative process, but it's the creative process. When you have a vibration that you're offering, when you're sifting and you know what you don't want, which causes you to know what you do want, you launch this vibrational rocket of desire that the larger part of you follows and becomes. Now, you first have to accept that you are more than you see here in this physical body, do you? Many are coming to understand that it's hard not to. You just can't look around this world over which you have no control in terms of it spinning in its orbit and the sun coming up every morning. You have to accept that there's something more going on. This is not a random accident going on here. This is powerful creation of which you are a leading edge part. You've been part of the creation of all that you see here from the beginning of that which was the beginning of that which was the beginning of that which. And there's no point in us trying to get back to the beginning of that because we've all come so far forward. But we do want you to understand that you are leading edge creators in these physical bodies and that you come from source and that you are an extension of source, but not a disconnected extension of source. You weren't just set loose. Good luck. <laughs> Have fun and be good. There wasn't any of that. It was you go forth and you stir it up and you find new things to want and we'll back you up. And when you find things big or small, when you find things that you really want or things that you want just a little bit, when you find something that you want, we, non-physical energy, the source within you, that which man calls God, we like to call it your inner being or all that is, all of us guys here in non-physical who are aware of you and there are more of us here aware of you than there are you there aware of us. Well... <laughs> We could say that better because most of you aren't aware of us in the way that we would like you to be. But there are way more of us. There are way, way, way more of us. And we are focused upon your rockets of desire. We don't pay attention. And it's good for you. We don't spend any time with you justifying why you should have what you want. Because we know that if your time, space, reality has created a desire within you, that it is your right to receive in full fruition the creation, the manifestation the actualization, the realization of that desire. So when you launch those rockets, often you're oblivious to the fact that you've launched the rocket. You gave birth to it during a fit of knowing what you don't want. Don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. I've never had enough money. I hardly know anybody who has enough money. Rocket, 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 rocket. You are creating a vibrational version of everything that you want. And we know that's annoying because you want the money in the bank. But the vibrational version must come first in everything. So when you create this vibrational version of all of these things and experiences that you want, we join that vibrational version of your desire. We join that vibrational version of you. And we hold steady to that vibrational version, which is the reason that when you're not focused upon what you want, but instead are focused upon its absence and therefore justifying what you want by beating the drum of its absence. The reason that that feels like disappointment or fear or worry is because your frequency is so far off from what's in your vortex and all of us who are working with you and tending it. If you can just get that one little piece, if you can just understand that when you focus on anything and feel anything less than eagerness, satisfaction, love, when you feel less than passion, when you feel less than that feeling of well-being, when you feel something that's on that negative end of the emotional scale that feels like worry or jealousy or anger, when you feel depressed or fearful, when you feel those negative emotions, it always means you're focused in opposition not to us. We don't get to choose what you want. Not to God. God is not choosing for you what you want. When you feel negative emotion, you are in opposition to your own created version of you, you see. And you can't get there under those conditions.
So you've got to do something to soften the vibrational frequency, which just simply means it's annoying for you to hear it because you can't do it. But we're going to tell you anyway. But this, you can't do it. You just have to stop thinking about that thing you're thinking about that is keeping you from what you want. But the reason you can't do it is because when you're thinking about that thing that you're thinking about that's keeping you from what you want, law of attraction is helping you to keep thinking about it. Because you've got an active vibration going on. And law of attraction says, you don't like that. How about this? You're not going to like it either. But here you go. Here you go. You say, just like my mother. Law of attraction is not punishing you. Law of attraction is supporting you with the evidence of your vibrational frequency. So that's why we say it's really helpful for you to find some neutral zone. If you can do something to distract yourself from whatever it is that has that unwanted active vibration. We don't want to get too carried away with that. We think you have the understanding of that. But let's begin with this simple premise. The frequency, the vibrational frequency of a question is different than the frequency of the answer. The frequency of the problem is different than the frequency of the solution. So, of course, you're going to uncover problems and questions. That's the whole point of sifting through contrast. It's necessary for expansion. But what we would like to encourage you to do is not get so carried away in your justification of the reason for the solution. You just don't have to explain it to anybody. Knowing that you want it is enough. If this time space reality has the wherewithal to produce within you clarity of desire, it is our absolute promise to you that it has the wherewithal to give you the actualization of that desire. No exceptions ever. No exceptions ever. If you can want it, you can have it. But you've got to achieve the frequency of what you want. You can't be sad about not having enough money and let the money flow because you're blocking it. So step one says you got to want it. You got to focus upon it. And contrast causes you to do that all day, every day. Step two says what is asked is given every single time. But here's the part of that you don't like. It's given to you in vibrational form. And you say, well, whoop de doo I can't spend that. I can't vacation with that. And we say, but you have to accept that it is given to you in vibrational form. And then you've got to figure out somehow, some way to become a vibrational match to that vibrational frequency. And when you do, so here's the story we like to explain to you. You are here in your physical body after having come from non-physical. The non-physical part of you still remains non-physically focused. You sift through the contrast. You're lovely and very good at it. And as you focus in your life, you give birth to all kinds of new intentions, which we all revel in because the expansion of the universe is all about that. So you're launching all of these rockets of desire that are being held in this vibrational reality. We've been calling it your vortex. It's this spinning reality that law of attraction is holding together. And all cooperative components are being assembled about everything that you want. The question is, when are you going to be a cooperative component to your own intentions? And the answer to that is as soon as you stop complaining, as soon as you stop missing it, as soon as you stop having conversations about what's going wrong, as soon as you stop joining those blogs or those television programs that are beating the drum of what's gone wrong all the time. It's all right to do that a little bit because it causes expansion in your society and in you as an individual. But when you spend so many hours active in the vibration of unwanted, you prevent the solution that has already been rounded up by law of attraction in your vortex. You prevent that solution from revealing itself to you better said from you being in a position where you can receive the revelation the realization the actualization of that so step one is you ask step two is source answers step three is you got to line up with it so we've been calling that the art of allowing and it is an art friend you have to practice it it's something that will be with you always this alignment with source this alignment with what you want it's not like your college diploma where once you've got it you've got it it isn't like that it either is or it isn't in the moment and you can tell by the way you feel how you're doing with that you see so here's all this stuff it's amassed it's in your vortex it's there for you we see it we love it we benefit from it we thank you for putting it there we revel in the expansion of the universe while you often complain that it hasn't shown up yet in the way you want it to. So you've got to find some way of 
positioning yourself vibrationally so that what's in your vortex can come to where you are so we are presenting to you we've been doing it for a while and we're writing the book the grid so that you can get the sense of the grid meaning your point of attraction because you've created a vibrational version of you that is beautiful to behold but most of you are not even coming close to living the vibrational version that you've created because you're so busy we love you so much sloppily observing anything and everything around you rather than deliberately preparing your point of attraction deliberately preparing your grid so that what's in the vortex can flow into it and when it starts flowing oh you know it it flows with ideas it flows with energy vitality we mean but it also flows with rendezvous it flows with things just seeming to come out of the blue it flows with phone contacts it flows with money coming to you in unexpected ways it flows to you in promotions it flows to you in good impulses when you drive it flows to you in bodily conditions it flows to you in physical vitality it flows 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 your grid is filling in all the time but when you have deliberately sifted through data when you have consciously launched a rocket when you have consciously acknowledged that you want this thing that you don't yet have but you believe you can have it because you know the laws of the universe and you believe in your ability to focus yourself into a grid perspective that will allow the movement of it from the vortex into your reality because you know all of these things now when contrast comes you say oh good oh good more rockets to launch and as the rockets are launching you say oh, that felt good can't hold it because I'm not used to practicing it who oh, it felt really good ah, no, that doesn't feel so good anymore I really liked wanting that for a minute till I realized I don't have it do you remember those fresh desires when you were kids before your parents crushed your dreams <laughs> Do you remember when you believed in your own ability to create? Do you remember when you thought the world was on your side before so many convinced you that they weren't? That fresh flowing of desire. We want to help you to restore yourself to that. So you launch this rocket of desire and then you recognize because now you're more sensitive. You know that you want it, but you're not in alignment with it. And every thought that you think that contradicts what you want will give you an emotional feedback that will let you to know this is what I'm doing. This is that thing I do right here, right now. I'm catching myself in the act. Jerry and Esther had chickens years ago and they remember going out to the hen house one night. They'd forgotten to close it up. They like to close it up at night so that things didn't come and eat the eggs in the night. And there was a possum in the nest with egg all over its face. <laughs> he looked so guilty. <laughs> so negative emotion is you catching yourself in the act with egg all over your face. That you are in this moment defeating, that's too strong a word. Well, we'll use it anyway. Defeating, trampling, killing, pulling the wings off the flies of your desires. In other words, <laughs> it's what you're doing. You're holding yourself in vibrational dissonance with the very things that you want. And the negative emotion is your glorious indicator that you're doing it now. You're doing it now. Esther's got easy buttons all over the house. That was easy. 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 She's thinking about getting one. You're doing it now. <laughs> You're doing it now because you are aware when you will know what negative emotion means that you are in that place where you are not holding it off forever, not defeating it, but certainly slowing it down, slowing what down, slowing down your ability to stand begin again. You have created a grid. You're standing in the middle of your grid all the time. You've created a grid that is keeping you from being keenly aware of the most productive, most fun path of least resistance step toward whatever things that you are wanting that are in your vortex. See how it works. You are the creator of your own reality. You are the vibrator of your own being. You are the discerner and the decider and the accomplisher of your own point of attraction and it is so much fun when you deliberately sift through the contrast, yay, stuff to choose from.